1953, that was the night all these fishing boats dragged their anchors and came ashore. From the head of the loch right down to the end of the point, there was boats everywhere. And the Aleppo SWRI, Scottish Women's Rural Institute, for those who don't know, had a bird's night in the village hall. It was the end of January. And when we came out of the village hall about one o'clock in the morning, we got the shock of our lives because the gale was, had taken full force and I've never heard anything quite like it before then or since then. And the late Margaret Campbell and the late Rita Ray accompanied me home because I had been helping to produce a tea that night and I had baskets with the usual bits and pieces. And we came down the lane beside what's now the Frigate Restaurant. But that actually was my home and the shop where I worked all these years ago. And the fish boxes were actually flying everywhere. And we knew by the activity on the pier that the boats were in trouble. So eventually I got the gate open and I picked up the baskets and got into the safety of my own home to meet my father coming down the stair and he was not at all well at that point and he was wanted, he thought he should go out and give a hand on the shore and on the pier and all the rest of it but I absolutely forbade him, no way was he going to go out there I said there are plenty of younger men on the pier and let them get on with it so it was quite, quite a night really and the next day, of course, we could see where the boats had come ashore. There was a fisherman's mission in those days. And the gentleman that was in charge there had been out all night. And there was also a mission for fishermen in the village hall. And that was run by the Church of Scotland Hats and Canteens. And the people were working there voluntarily and uh, they were producing meals for all these men and uh, venison and different things items of food had been sent down from Brimore and uh, from Redorach and ladies were working voluntary of course in the village hall preparing soup and all the rest of it and uh, it was amazing how these men were looked after Was there anybody hurt? No, I don't think so. Never heard of anybody being hurt. Uh, they kept everybody going for a few days, I can tell you. And now you see there was fish boxes from in front of the frigate rest, was now the frigate, right down to the end of the pier. Lines and lines of them. And these boxes were just ticking off and flying everywhere.